Hi, my name is Sanjay Mukhopadhyay. I'm a thoracic pathologist at the Cleveland Clinic. And today I'm going to go over um, a case that uh, involves thymic pathology. And that's something that uh, many pathologists see uh, very little of and many people feel uncomfortable with. So I'll just go over a few basic concepts um, of thymic uh, pathology using an illustrative case. So here's a case uh, that contains normal thymic tissue. And I'm starting with this just to get people a sense of what normal thymus looks like. And then when you see abnormal thymus, you'll, you'll, you'll see what the difference is. So one of the things about normal thymus is that it has a lot of fat or adipose tissue in the background. And that thymic tissue um, is sprinkled in there as these little blue areas. And these blue areas contain lighter and darker areas within them that contain both epithelial and lymphoid cells. So here are the lymphoid cells in the thymic tissue. And these cells are typically rich in TDT positive TDT positive lymphocytes. So these are immature lymphocytes that occur in the normal thymus and then they are mixed with epithelial cells that are slightly larger and they are sprinkled together with adipose tissue. Now one thing that you see and most people know within normal thymic tissue are Hassel's corpuscles. They look vaguely squamoid and they are epithelial cells um, and these are scattered within the thymic tissue. So this is an image to keep in mind when you are looking at thymic pathology. So this is what we mean when we say normal thymic architecture. That is these, these little nests of thymic tissue, including epithelial and lymphoid cells, and then sprinkled among adipose tissue and an occasional Hassel's corpuscle within the tissue. Now, if you stain this up with a cytokeratin stain, the epithelial cells will stain with cytokeratin and the thymic lymphocytes will stain with uh, TDT. Now, let me show you another image. And this is an image from an anterior mediastinal mass. And this shows you abnormal architecture. It's very obvious here that it's different from, from the thymic tissue that I showed you before. But the, those points are worth making, that the entire architecture is abnormal. It is replaced by these, again, nests. And they look vaguely thymic, but they are much bigger, broader nests that have completely obliterated normal architecture. And these nests are separated by these pink bands which are actually fibrous tissue. So they're actually broad bands of fibrous tissue separating these um, uh, nests of thymic tissue. And this is the classic low power architecture appearance of a thymoma. So when you see complete obliteration of thymic architecture by, by this kind of thymic looking tissue, thymoma should be the first thing that you should be thinking about. Now when you go to high magnification, on this particular kind of thymoma, you might be forgiven for thinking that all these cells are lymphocytes because it certainly looks like that at the low magnification. And even at high mag, you see there are a large, large number of lymphocytes here. So this is a lymphocyte predominant or a type B thymoma in which the epithelial cells are so um, uh, overwhelmed by the, the, the thymic lymphocytes that they are hard to appreciate. But in fact, there are a lot of epithelial cells in the background and you can bring that out by doing a cytokeratin stain. I do AE1, AE3, but you can do a, any kind of cytokeratin stain and bring out the background epithelial cells. So this would be a type B lymphoma and because there's so many lymphocytes and relatively few epithelial cells, this would be B1 if this was the only area within the tumor. But in fact, as seen in this image, there are other types of areas in this tumor as well. And this is actually not at all uncommon in thymomas that when you go from section to section, you see slightly different uh, mixes of, of um, tumor types in here. So to the top left is the kind of thymoma that I just showed you. This is B1 thymoma. But as you go to the bottom right, you see something else. These cells are paler. And I'll show you again, this is obliterating the thymic architecture. So there's none of that little adipose tissue and um, thymic tissue mix here. It's all thymic type tissue. And in here, you see cells at high magnification that vary from spindly to oval in shape. They are very bland, cytologically bland. And bland, I, I love that word because you can say that it doesn't look very atypical without saying that it's benign. So these cells are very bland. They don't look pleomorphic or atypical uh, or, or overtly malignant. Um, and they are oval or spindly in shape. And the one very big difference from the other area that I showed you is that lymphocytes are very sparse here. So in this type of area, which is a type A thymoma, you see either very few lymphocytes or no lymphocytes. 
And if you did a TDT stain here, that would support the impression that there are few or no TDT positive lymphocytes in this area. So let me bring it back to low magnification and show you the junction between the two areas. So on the left side of the field now is the type B area. On the right side of the field is a type A area. And so this is a type AB thymoma. So this is just an interesting case uh, that shows you the difference between B and A thymomas, the uh, mix that defines a type AB uh, thymoma, and the difference between a thymoma and normal thymic tissue. I hope you enjoyed the case. Thank you very much.